Hello Year 9s and welcome to another video from Mr Hegarty. In this video we are going to learn today how to add fractions. We're going to start off quite simply with some simple denominators which are level 5 and we'll move on throughout the week to more complicated examples, level 6 etc. So please write as a title, adding fractions, copy the lesson objective to add fractions with simple denominators level 5 and put the date in your book. Okay, to introduce this topic, I'm just going to talk about money to start with to get the idea across. If I showed you this picture and asked you how much, I'm sure you'd be able to answer. Take a second just to think how much. Well, this note here represents £10. And there are £1 coins here. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So £10 plus £11 must equal £21, OK? That's it, simple. You're simply adding things that have the same currency. There are 10 lots of pounds here. There are 11 lots of pounds here. You have £21. Similarly, in this example, take a second, how much? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 pounds plus... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pounds. If you add those together, you get eleven pounds. Now, the point I'm trying to show you here is when you have the same unit, i.e., pounds in this case, and you've got a certain lot of pounds plus a certain lot of another pounds, you just add those numbers together. That tells you how many pounds you have in total. And fractions work in a very similar way in the following examples. Please copy these in your book. Here's example one copy this question in your book. Now, one way of saying this is 3 over 7 plus 1 over 7, and we're trying to work out the answer to this. And a better way of saying this, and I'd like you to copy this in your book, this here represents 3 sevenths. Okay, 3 sevenths. The number on the bottom, the denominator, is the unit. And the unit in this case is sevenths. So we have three sevenths plus one seventh. So how many sevenths do we have? Three sevenths plus one seventh must be four sevenths. Okay? Must equal four sevenths. So when the number on the bottom of fractions are the same and we're adding, we can just add the tops. Because it's like £3 plus £1 is £4. It's very like that. Here we have 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh must be 4 sevenths. OK? So it's like when we were adding fractions. Next example. Remember what this means now. This means 3 twentieths. 3 twentieths. 3 twentieths. And this here means 6 twentieths. How many twentieths do we have? We have 9 twentieths. The numbers on the bottom are the same, so we can just add the top numbers. Do copy that example in your book. Example 3, then a few for you to do yourself. Example 3 here, do copy this one. It's very slightly different. We have 2 tenths plus Three tenths. The numbers on the bottom are the same. So we can just say two tenths plus three tenths must be five tenths. Now that's the correct answer, apart from this fraction can be simplified. Is there anything that goes into five and ten? Well, five does. So you could divide the top and bottom by five. You could divide the top by five, divide the bottom by five. That actually simplifies to a half. 1 over 2. So just look out in the last uh, step here. When you've done your adding, can you simplify? Ask yourself, can you simplify? If you can, make sure you do. Right, I've got some questions for you to do now. There are six simple questions here. These three and these three. In these three here, you may have to simplify. So look out for simplifying in these three. So do those six questions before moving on to the next part of my video.
OK, now you should have done those examples and I'll mark those in class. Let's move on to the next section. Um, here's a picture for you. Again, how much was there on that picture? Well, uh, £10 we had here. And I think in this case we had 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Again, it, we have this example. It's £21. When we are dealing in pounds, we can just simply add how many of each pounds we've got and that's our answer. However, here's where it gets more complicated. How much here? We have £10 and we have €5. Euros. We can't just add them together straight away. What we would need to do is we would need to convert one of them to the same units. We could either convert this to pounds, uh, to Euros or convert this to pounds and then we could add them. So before we can add these they must be converted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the five euros I'm going to convert it into pounds and I'm going to say that five euros is the same as four pounds um, using bank conversion for example and then I can add it I can then say ten pounds plus four pounds is equal to fourteen pounds so in the original case I could not go back here, I could not add these because £10 plus €5, Euros, they're different units, so I can't add them. But if I exchange €5 Euros for its value in pounds, uh, four pounds, then I can add them. And that's what I'm going to do in these last two examples to show how to add fractions with different denominators. Here, that we have different denominators. We've got one half, so we've got one half, and plus one quarter. Now I can only add them when they've got the same denominator. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub this out first of all. I'm going to make the denominators the same. Now what number I'm going to ask myself do two and four go into? Well, they both go into four. So I'm going to make the numbers on the bottom four. So this one here, I'm going to make the number on the bottom four. I'm going to do that by multiplying the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And that will give me 2 quarters plus, this stays the same because it's already got 4 on the bottom. So we'd have 2 quarters plus 1 quarter and the answer is 3 quarters. So when I first look at that question, I can't add until I make the bottom numbers the same. Make the bottom number what the smallest number that both numbers on the bottom go into. 2 and 4 go into 4, so hence adjust this fraction so it has a 4 on the bottom. How do I do that? I have to multiply by this 2 by 2, so I better do the same to the top. And that's how I do it. Example 5, we've got another similar example here. We've got 3 fifths and 2 tenths. Now, I can't add them because the numbers on the bottom are currently different. But I could ask myself, what do 5 and 10 both divide into? Well, they both divide into 10. So let's make them both over 10. Now this one's fine. So I could leave that one as it is. But this one needs to have a 10 on the bottom. So what do I do to 5 to get it to be 10? I must multiply by 2 and I do the same on the top. So it would be 2 times 3 which is 6 tenths plus 2 tenths which is actually equal to 8 tenths. And that would be my answer. Also, at the last stage, you should think about simplifying anything that divides into 8 and 10, or well, 2 does. So divide top and bottom by 2, and I get 4 fifths. And that is my example 5. Now I'd like you to try a few yourself. Um, I'd like you to try uh, these questions yourself. They should be all fairly straightforward for you. Try the extensions if you've finished. Thank you for watching.